Let me ask you this question. Who will go first? Preferences or like choices? Mm -hmm. Good. Anyone else? Preference means the way I I want that particular communication. If I I don't want that particular uh, communication, then we can we can set that preference that I don't want. I want this and that. So that preference we can uh, set in marketing okay. cloud. Good. 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 Good try. Good. Sumit, uh, preferences are mm. like choices, and secondly, even Bablu added uh, relevant points here that it could be mm. anything. If we talk about marketing cloud, it could be anything uh, a subscriber w wants to see from a company. Like uh, there, there is a company X Y Z, and I want a particular kind of com uh, communication from them. I don't want all com uh, communications, so I can just simply go and subscribe for those kind of communications, and I will hope to receive. Uh, only those emails only. Oh, very well, very well articulated, Sumit. Uh, what about Deepak? Yeah. So uh, I guess the answer has been already told by Sumit, Haya, and Bablu as well. <laughs> so preferences are like the communications that a subscriber or a contact wants to update uh, by himself. So every customer has his own way of understanding a brand's uh, uh, relationship or the communication that he want to. So each customer want a different communication, and they can select what they want to accordingly. Okay, nice to know. Asis, what do you think of preferences? Yeah, according to the customers, what exactly they want. Um, it's like if they don't want prefer, if uh, because marketing cloud is all about the communication, so which we can able to mm. reach to our customer. So whatever means according to their preference, we do have to custom. Mm. Means like if they don't like, uh, means like some channels if they don't mm. like messages from the mobile posts or some things like that so we can able to customize according to that only so that is basically we have to give the priority to the customers or to the contacts mm. so okay they are able to say these things very good very good tanisha uh yeah like yeah. it's the same uh, how the customer want to receive communication uh, mm. from their organization or from other channels uh, is what preference is according to me. Okay, and we have Jaisri as well, right? Um, hi, Sashi. Hi, everyone. A preference center uh, where like we can customize um, according to the end user, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, like maybe like if instead of email, uh, what kind of like company information or uh, sender's profile or delivery profile or things like that. Maybe like we, we are able to customize everything according mm -hmm. to the end user. Th that is why mm -hmm. my where my mind is going. Yeah, I like your mind. OK, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> in in Marketing Cloud, when we send you know communications, we need to respect the customer's choices and we need to follow CAN-SPAM and GDPR Act. So we need to. You know, get the subscribers or any any persons who is you know uh, receiving the information. We need to get their preferences so that we can send them the required or necessary kind of information. That's what my my understanding oh, about customer beautiful. preference. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Did I miss anyone? I think we covered. Okay, I'm going to next. So, everybody, you everyone talked about like what are preferences because my question was what is preferences when we are discussing preferences so means we are storing that information to marketing cloud and how you how you're going to store those preferences whenever we are discussing about preferences it means data model okay if i'm going very technical to be there so i'm defining a data model saying that uh, how he wants to basically receive your communication it the preferences yeah the choices that the person makes uh, whether it be uh, email communication or uh, SMS communication or a WhatsApp communication or a line messaging, right? Or push notification. Uh, you see a lot of newsletter being sent. There might be product, what do you say, launch uh, that will be more of a promotional messaging that they might be sending, right? Some companies might be organizing webinars, Amazon, okay, for example. So Amazon might be sending communications to their uh, subscribe uh, based on their choices like maybe i'm a very uh, keen you know uh, reader book uh, i have a collection of books so maybe I, I in that category in the collection of the books also okay maybe i look for motivational books right i don't like fictional stories <laughs> or a thriller or what other people say so the categorization is based on the organization, how they're categorizing, right? Or if you see, like, say, 
there might be some organizations uh, who are basically dealing with say doctors in doctors also you have different specialization of doctors right there might be oncologists there might be diabetologists there might be gynecologists okay so i don't want to send information okay to a diabetologist about gyno uh, gyno problems or some other things this is basically going into a very big detail is or whom you are basically targeting it right uh, if you go again with uh, say a restaurant business also uh, and if you want to basically send some communication and uh, there also you have different uh, style of dishes right chinese continental i don't know i don't know the dishes but that way how you basically might model the data for now you understand like uh, different business will have their different way of uh, communication channel wise at it will be at the top level so describing uh, what is the most preferred channel through which they want to communicate that is true but if you go even deeper inside then it will be like different kind of communication they want to send hmm. like a restaurant will have their own chain of thoughts okay uh, those people who are dealing with doctors might have their own chain of thoughts and the retailers might have their different chain of thoughts the first point here subscribers first you have to understand is what is your source of truth for the subscriber mostly people are connecting with sales cloud with a connector right and syncing the data and bring it to marketing cloud there might be a lot of organizations where they are manually importing to a data extension or there might be akamai or there might be many other different sources so first when you are dealing see when we are discussing here is the architecture then we'll only go with the functions first is the source of truth about data management where you are basically getting the data from okay? the subscribers where you are inheriting those data when you are inheriting there is when i'm talking about upstream system means you are connected your marketing cloud is connected to some source system now the data has to basically first flow into marketing cloud and later something happens something changes happen with the preferences either you are storing in marketing cloud but most of the time you have to update the source of truth also where it is coming from you have to inform that source system saying that okay the the subscriber has made some changes and you should basically honor those subscriptions right honor those requests so that not only reside in marketing cloud it will go to different system as well that's why the stories of where you're storing comes into picture is that clear with the data management see i have one question here when you're saying most of the times or uh, is it most of the times or all the times we need to have a source as salesforce crm or some other cloud or some other external system which flows into it, marketing it is different by the architecture like uh, our small business might start by manually importing to marketing cloud okay mm. but when you go with the big organizations mm, mm -hmm. they will definitely have their legacy systems build marketing cloud is very new in this current uh, you know it is having a very good exponential growth but if you have to go 20 downs line the back okay uh, they always has this oracle okay or some other data storage house lot of other data storage house they already have it website and everything hmm. so there are lot of legacy systems from where the subscribers actually flow it not basically will always be uh, sales salesforce uh sales cloud service cloud or other clouds hmm. so uh, you have to keep that in mind